The Eco Management and Audit Scheme is a voluntary environmental management instrument, which was developed in 1993 by the European Commission. It enables organizations to assess, manage, and continuously improve their environmental performance. The scheme is globally applicable and open to all types of private and public organizations. In order to register with EMIS, organizations must meet the requirements of the EU EMIS regulation. Currently, more than 4,600 organizations and more than 7,900 sites are EMIS registered. Topic: Regulation, structure. The EU EMIS regulation entails 52 articles and 8 annexes. Chapter 1 – General provisions Chapter 2 – Registration of organizations Chapter 3 – Obligations of registered organizations Chapter 4 – Rules applicable to competent bodies Chapter 5 – Environmental verifiers Chapter 6 – Accreditation and licensing bodies Chapter 7 – Rules applicable to member states Chapter 8 – Rules applicable to the Commission Chapter 9 – Final provisions Annex I – Environmental review Annex II – Environmental management system requirements based on NISO 14001-2004 and additional issues to be addressed by organizations implementing EMIS Annex III – Internal environmental audit Annex IV – Environmental reporting Annex V – EMIS logo Annex VI – Information requirements for registration Annex VII – Environmental verifiers declaration on verification and validation activities Annex VIII – Correlation table MS2, MS3. Although EMIS is an official EU regulation, it is binding only for organizations which voluntarily decide to implement the scheme. The EMIS regulation includes the environmental management system requirements of the International Standard for Environmental Management, ISO 14001, and additional requirements for EMIS registered organizations such as employee engagement, ensuring legal compliance or the publication of an environmental statement. Because of its additional requirements, EMIS is known as the premium instrument for environmental management. Topic: Implementation. In order to register with EMIS, an organization must comply with the following implementation steps: Article 4 of the EMIS regulation. Environmental review – initial comprehensive analysis of the organization's activities, products and services and their environmental impact, cataloging applicable environmental law, etc. Environmental policy – definition of the organization's overarching environmental objectives, commitment to continuous improvement of environmental performance. Environmental program – description of measures, responsibilities and means to achieve environmental objectives and targets. Environmental management system – part of an organization's management entailing structure, planning activities, responsibilities, practices, procedures, processes and resources for developing, implementing, achieving, reviewing and maintaining the environmental policy and managing the environmental aspects. Environmental audit – systematic, documented, 
periodic and objective evaluation of the organization's environmental performance, management system and processes designed to protect the environment, conducted by internal auditors. Environmental statement, comprehensive, regular reports to the public on the organization's structure and activities, environmental policy and management system, environmental aspects and impacts, environmental program, objectives and targets, environmental performance and compliance with applicable environmental law etc. Verification and registration – The steps above must be verified by an accredited, licensed environmental verifier. The validated environmental statement needs to be sent to the EMIS competent body exists in each EU country for registration and made publicly available before an organization can use the EMIS logo. Key performance indicators The EU Eco Management and Audit Scheme provides core indicators or performance indicator KPIs with which registered organizations can measure their environmental performance and monitor their continual environmental improvement against set targets. Key benefits of indicators Environmental performance can be reviewed and tracked regularly, which provides a basis for managerial decision-making leading to performance improvements. Performance can also be compared against competitors to arrive at a benchmark. The use of indicators leads to consistent monitoring and reporting throughout a potentially globally dispersed organization. External stakeholders gain an understanding of an organization's environmental protection practices and are able to express opinions and suggest improvements. Topic: An indicator set according to EMIS. Entered into force in January 2010, EMIS 3 requires registered organizations to report on key performance indicators in six key environmental areas. The indicators focus on direct environmental aspects and apply to all EMIS registered organizations. Topic: <laughs> Energy efficiency. EMIS registered organizations have to report on two energy efficiency indicators N1 – Total annual energy consumption, expressed in MWH or GJ The indicator N1 is a measure of the energy consumed, e.g. to produce a certain product. By applying the indicator, organizations can identify energy hot spots assess possible improvement measures and benchmark their production processes against similar organizations. N2 – Percentage of N1 from renewable energy sources produced by the organization Through the application of N2, organizations can see how climate-friendly their energy use is. Renewable energy sources include Electricity, photovoltaic, wind power, hydro energy, biomass Heating, solar energy, geothermal energy, biomass <laughs> Material efficiency The EMIS environmental core indicator of material efficiency is MA – annual mass flow of different materials used, expressed in tons The indicator is useful for identifying the most important materials used and monitoring the effectiveness of improvement measures. Water 
The EMIS Environmental Core Indicator on Water is W – Total annual water consumption, expressed in M3 The indicator enables organizations to assess the success of the measures taken to reduce water consumption. Waste the EMIS Environmental Core Indicators on Waste are WA1 – Total annual generation of waste, broken down by type, expressed in tons WA2 – Total annual generation of hazardous waste, expressed in kilograms or tons Hazardous wastes cause harmful environmental effects as a result, the EMIS regulation is clear on the fact that hazardous waste has to be reported under a specific indicator. Biodiversity The EMIS Environmental Core Indicator on Biodiversity is B. Use of land, expressed in M2 of built-up area by using the indicator, organizations can start monitoring their impact on ecosystems or habitats, through their land use. <laughs> <laughs> emissions The EMIS Environmental Core Indicators on Emissions are M1 – Total annual emissions of greenhouse gases, expressed in tons of CO2 equivalent Greenhouse gas GHG, emissions of an organization indicate an organization's impact on the climate. The indicator does not only focus on carbon dioxide emissions but also on other GHGs see list above. M2 – Total annual air emission The indicator requires an organization to report on several air emissions see list above. Using this indicator gives an organization a thorough understanding of its impact on air quality. ISO 14001 All organizations listed in the EMIS register run an environmental management system according to the EMIS requirements. Because ISO 14001 is an integral part of EMIS, these organizations automatically comply with the requirements that the international standard demands as well. However, EMIS registered organizations fulfill requirements that go beyond the scope of ISO 14001. EMIS registered organizations demonstrate Credibility – The proper implementation of EMIS is assessed by qualified and independent environmental verifiers. Transparency – By periodically reporting on their environmental performance. Those reports include information on key performance indicators. The reports must be validated by an environmental verifier. Continuous improvement process – By committing themselves to continuous improvement of their actual environmental performance. This performance is also evaluated by an environmental verifier. ISO 14001 only requires improving the environmental management system itself. Compliance – by fully complying with applicable environmental legislation. Stakeholder engagement – by involving employees and other stakeholders in order to benefit from their commitment, ideas, skills and experiences. Topic. Benefits and costs EMIS is a comprehensive and demanding premium label, whose implementation requires some financial and personnel resources. 
In return, EMIS provides organizations with many advantages that can easily outweigh these costs. As EMIS is tailored to individual performance improvements, each organization has to consider different environmental and economic factors. Given the heterogeneity of registered organizations, calculating average benefits and costs of EMIS is nearly unfeasible. The financial benefits of an EMIS-registered organization can differ per country. For example, some countries offer substantial reductions of waste fees, lower permitting costs, faster licensing procedures, etc. Nevertheless, several studies have been undertaken to provide reference points on the benefits and costs. In 2009, the European Commission published the study on the costs and benefits of EMIS to registered organizations. The results of this study are summarized in a fact sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Key benefits environmental and financial performance through a systematic framework, e.g. increased resource and energy efficiency, waste reduction. Risk and opportunity management, e.g. legal compliance, regulatory relief. Credibility, transparency and reputation, e.g. environmental statement, key performance indicators, verification and validation through independent environmental verifiers. Employee empowerment and motivation, e.g. improved involvement of staff, higher awareness, often leading to innovations. Topic. Costs Fixed costs, validation, verification fees, registration fees, integrating EMIS logo into corporate design. External costs, consultancy expertise to support implementation and reporting, even if not mandatory, is often necessary. Internal costs, personnel and technical resources needed for implementing, administering and reporting. EMIS Awards The EMIS Awards praise efforts on environmental protection made by EMIS registered organizations. The European Commission has handed out these awards every year since 2005. EMIS Awards in Environmental Management are handed out annually companies and public authorities in six categories. EMIS Awards have a different focus every year. Each year, the EMIS Awards winners are cited for their achievements in a specific area of their environmental performance. Past themes have encompassed a variety of topics, including resource efficiency and waste management. The theme of the 2011 EMIS Awards is stakeholder involvement leading to continuous improvement. <laughs> <laughs> development The first EMIS regulation MSI was adopted in 1993 and became operational in 1995. It was originally restricted to companies in industrial sectors. With the first revision of the EMIS regulation in 2001 MS2, the scheme opened to all economic sectors including public and private services. In addition, EMIS-2 was strengthened by the integration of the environmental management requirements of ISO 14001, by adopting a new EMIS logo to signal engagement to stakeholders, and by considering more strongly indirect effects such as those related to financial services or administrative and planning decisions. The latest revision of EMIS came into effect on of January 2010 
With the introduction of MS-3, the scheme is globally applicable and no longer limited to EU member states. With MS-3 the EU also introduced obligatory key performance indicators KPI in order to harmonize reporting on environmental performance. The number of EMIS registered organizations increased from 2,140 in 1997 to 4,659 in 2011. Notes <laughs> <laughs>